Welcome to Yadna Investment Academy. In this video, we are going to see how you can calculate returns of your irregular lump sum investments done over a period of time. Also, how you can use the same thing to calculate returns of your regular SIP investments. In various fund fact sheets and also on various investment websites, you would see trailing returns of a fund, its calendar returns, the returns the fund has given since inception. But the time frame used to calculate these returns and the time frame of your investment are different. And so you can use XIRR formula in Excel to calculate returns on your investments. Let us see how. For the ease of understanding, here we have considered an SIP investment duration of 8 months. Here in the first column, I have put in the SIP investment dates. As you can see, it is first of each month. Then in column B, I've put in my investment value, which is 10,000 rupees each month. Put all your investments with a negative sign as it is an outflow. And in the last row, put your redemption date along with the redemption value. The redemption value would be positive as it is an inflow now. And in the cell below, put this XIRR formula, which would give you the internal rate of return or CAGR on your investment. In the XIRR formula, B2 is the first cell of your investment row, B10 is the redemption value, A2 is the first date of your investment and A10 is the redemption date. So this is how you can calculate internal rate of return or CAGR on your SIP investments. But let us say while I was doing my SIP, in the third month I had some 1 lakh rupees additionally to be invested. In the ninth month, along with my SIP redemption, I redeemed this lump sum investment as well. And the total redemption value is as shown in this block. Using the same formula, I can calculate the collective internal rate of return or CAGR on my total investment. Let us say you don't have SIP at all. You do lump sum irregular investments. So you could put in each of your investment date in the first column along with your irregular lump sum investments and in the last row put in your redemption date along with your redemption value and it would give you your XIRR or CAGR on your total investment. So friends this is how you can calculate internal rate of return or CAGR on your SIP or irregular lump sum investments using Excel. Thanks for watching this video. Watch this space for more such topics. Until then happy investing.